results have turned around a little bit. Performances are still okay, but hopefully it's a sign of a positive direction we're going in. That's the way around, Matthew. <laughs> Here we go. What's happening folks and welcome to another episode of Rebuilding Barcelona. If you're excited for this episode, hit the like button down below and subscribe for daily FM content on this channel. Down below is also my FIFA channel and my Let's Play channel. Likewise, same for those channels as well for daily uploads. So today guys, we're on the page of the, the Club Vision screen because I don't want to spoil anything that has happened. Other than the fact we've got the transfer budget increase next season, uh, I still think we'll get more than what they're saying I'm going to get because the finances are very good. We've got 97 million pound now to spend on players, uh, but I don't want to spend that money until I know what I'm after um, yet. So, um, here's the camera. It's been okay, and next episode, next episodes are quite close together due to what due to what we're going to be showing you. So, I'll go through that once you once, you, once you've seen the games off camera. So as you can see, we beat Arsenal 1-0, beat Levante, beat the Mallorca, and meet, be, meet? We didn't meet, we did meet, to be fair, we did meet, we met them all in, in, in a football game, um, but we beat them all. Um, the only one I think was a really good performance, and I was happy with, was probably the Mallorca, and maybe Levante up to a point. Um, I feel like Levante, <laughs> the goal was, was not really deserved for Levante, but the Mallorca was perfect was performance. So, as you can see, we've got a lot of games to clever here that we're going to probably show you. So, we're going to go. We're going to show Celta Vigo and Leipzig for certain. Now, depending on what happens in the first leg of this of this tie, if we win three or four nil, or they win three or four nil, we might not show the second leg because otherwise it's just pointless. So we're going to show Celta Vigo and Leipzig today. And then we do be next episode, unless we're showing Leipzig again and and Elche. So we're we'll quite a few together, guys. Obviously, it's part of the season, guys. I want to show as much as I possibly can for you guys to see. And obviously, it's got same finals. We get through this round as well. And in same final, we uh, I think the, I think I can't remember what we get now. We get Bayern or Man City in the semi final. I would love to be on that side of the draw. To be oh, no, I say they got wounded there. They'll probably get through, won't they? So yeah, I think in the semi final would be a Fantastic achievement, uh, but of course, we want to win that, win that competition. So, let's go, folks. Let's get on with it. Um, still think the same tactic. It, it, it does work. Um, there's been, you, you've seen the goals and the highlights. Uh, it does work. It's just getting it consistent. I think this is what I want to stick with. The only thing I will change is maybe um, the roles in the box-to-box -box and a ball in midfielder there. Or, the, or, you know, again, you get your thoughts, guys, in the comment section on that. So, Celta Vigo. Uh, is it away or at home? I think we're away, aren't we? Yes. Um, brain not working. Um, well, to be fair, you need a brain to have one. You'd have a brain first for it to work, don't you? So, uh, make sure I'm on the right screen on the OBS. I am. I did that once before, uh, when I didn't realise, um, for a episode of Sars de Mall where I actually, uh, kept the main into camera, we're carrying show screen on. So, yeah, that wasn't ideal. Um... Yeah, the second in the form, but we're fifth, but 
But our recent four recent results are, are pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with the results. Um, and I think just... I'm not... I'm still trying to adjust to this whole um, keep ball and slow patient play because it's not my style of football I usually, I usually play on foot manager um, but I want to try and develop myself as a, I used to play 4-4-2 years ago and I'm gonna, I went to 4-2-3-1 so I'm always trying to evolve my style of play on feet, FM, FM so here we go, start the go away hopefully we can get the result here, Jordi Alba finds PK can he find a pass forward? He's, well he can but it's to it's a legal player and I don't like this oh, I, I, I like that uh, getting, getting the ball away I was got the ball. Is this can't be? This, this got to be a moving. Wow, that's a great ball if he gets into that, and he has. Fatty's in the space in the in the penalty area now. Is a shot. Oh, he just needs to start converting a few more of those kind of opportunities, and we're a really good player on the hands. Alba, Gavi, good start here. Good ball. Jong's through on goal, and he waits too long for the shot. He's got to hit to get a touch, and hits it. He waited too long, but early chances there. Jordi Alba, Gavi, back to PK. It's nice football, this. We've had, we, we should be head better in, in this game by now. Dembele. Good ball. Well played. I don't know why I was jogging towards that ball. Gavi. Alba. Swings in back to Dembele. And if he's on site, it's a great goal. It's similar to what he did. Um, I think it's similar to what he did in the previous game. Right at that far post with a finish. I think he's offside, though. My gut feeling is he's offside. And I'm going to be really be really good if he is. This loud, yeah, thought it was. Um, it looked, it felt it when it we saw how close to onside, onside he was. That's onside for me, mind you. Again, maybe his shoulders offside, and I can't see the angle in line up probably, can we? Um, so we never had it straight from that uh, offside. Um, can we go and put that out of our minds and go and get the goal? Let's stay again. He finds Eric Garcia, Dest, Garcia. De Jong. Dembele's got that. Dembele, he's in on goal here. He's going to cut on his left foot. He's got to cut on his left foot there. He's got to try and cut inside. He can't just... Gavi, good ball through. Dembele! He should... Well, he did score. He should have scored one of those as well. Half time, and it's half chances we've had, and we've just not taken them. Um, we don't in possession. He's got a 0 0.64 HG. We scored one goal that was marginally offside. So he's just those fine margins, I think, that are not going our way today. I'm going to say, should not be, should not been good enough, which hasn't been good enough, to be honest. Dembele's got to score one of those opportunities he's had. Um, or be better, look, look along the line, at least. But we keep playing like we are doing. I think we will win this game. we just got a bit more clinical in the final third with the finishing and a bit more decisive as well with some of the passing. But we're comfortable. We're not going to see the goal. Just catching to find that finish. Just stay again. Garcia, Busquets, Garcia, Dest, down the line to Dembele. Again, Dembele needs to beat his man there. He needs to try and just fuck it past it. Again, we're trying to keep possession, but he can still beat his man with a bit of pace. Here goes Dembele. Can he find that ball? Dest, Busquets. This is nice. Oh, phew, I hate when they do that. Bamiyang, Fatty. Good ball to Bamiyang. He's through and goal. Bamiyang. Again, they're getting the chances, but the finishing is really, really consistent. That's so. He's got. That's got to be a goal. He cannot miss that. That's got to be a nailed on goal every time, um, and that's what's causing us problems. Is that finishing in these areas? We're getting the chances with his tactic. We're just not taking them. Okay, I'm making changes. Um, being a bang out off for Depay. Bring on Karim as well. Because he's been he's in, he's been in good form recently. See if they can find that goal. But the finishing once again letting us down today. Corner kick. Late in the game. Can we get a late late winner? Alba. Kills it in to Garcia. Fatty gets back in control. Fatty. PK. Garcia. Again, guys, spread out a bit. You're a bit too narrow. You're too narrow. Swung it wide. There we go. I has got the right idea. Good ball through to Kareem. Super sub Kareem. Barcelona 1. Salta Vigo 0. He has slowly started to score on that left hand side. On that right hand side, sorry. 1 0. We deserve this. We've been the better team. And it's that movement and that patient build up that I've been looking for. I mean, you see the pull. The first don't, don't shot the run. Again, really poor marking. But first time we shot on Kareem. Makes it Barcelona 1. Salta Vigo 0. Now we've got to focus on what we're doing and not give anything away.
It's been a good performance today. I really can't fault them. Uh, just you know, Fatty shot goes just over, the, just wide. It debates on. It's just slightly, slightly more on side. We get the second goal, and Cream obviously got the ball goal, goal off the bench. Full time. So they go nil. Barcelona won. We deserve to win that game. Um, and I'm very pleased with that performance overall. Just another day. The other day, Dembele goes on side, and Fatty finds that top corner. Another day, those going back of the net, and we're looking at even much better position, aren't we? So league table looks like this. We're currently a point behind Real Madrid, but they've got a game in hand. Are they playing it immediately, or are they playing it in like a day or two? Because obviously that will that will dictate how positive that result is. I think they're playing it tomorrow, if it, if my memory serves. Shows what I know. So I'll come back to you guys when we get the result from the Villarreal game. Full time, folks. Two two draw. Um, Dan Juma with the equalizer in the ninety second minute, which is a good result for us for two reasons. One, it keeps Villarreal arm's length for the top four, which I think we now pulled away a bit. You know, for, too far away from it now, and also it keeps Real Madrid within touching distance now of two points. If only we had that bad run of form in the league, we would we would be clear clear by now. So, back next for Leipzig away in the Champions League. All right, folks, match number two against Leipzig in the quarterfinal Champions League, and I'm going to make one change to the lineup uh, from what started in the, in the previous game against Tottenham Vigo, and Karim is starting because he is on in form right now. I feel like, you know what? Looking at the Dembele, Fati. And by the end, they're actually getting a decent amount of goals. Just it's just throwing toys and and the pirate aren't doing it really. Um, so yeah, sticking with the same team, it works really. It's working really well. It it seems to be back on some kind of good run of form. It's one of its last five six games in a row. I think it is that we've won. Um, obviously, no way goals, which I I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. To be honest with you, still, um, I'm just I'm, I've been used to it all my footballing watching life. Um, so I've always been like. Well, I have a, I like a way, I've had away goals. So remember in my kitchen, I work it out and my dad, dad trying to teach me how it worked because um, I just couldn't, it took me out to understand what was going on. So, oh, Fatty, well done. Can you find a pass? He can. It's, it's Barry Yang and he's been blocked and over the bar for a corner kick. Really strong start against Leipzig here. Can we get a goal from his corner kick? Always going to be, no, not, not in the highlight, it's a corner kick. I was going to take this, kills it in and it's been cleared and that's probably under the highlights. Most likely, unless it's it, in it, the highlight. Phone in. Clean out. So, Butsal. I can't pronounce half of his names. Um, I'm going to say Leipzig player to Leipzig player to Leipzig player. And Cuckoo, and I can pronounce him. That's a good ball, that. Still, don't, don't, don't back off him there. Because he beat you, just don't back off him. Try and get back at him and stop him. Don't, don't, don't dive in. Hadara. I'm worried about their fullbacks already. I'm going to check, their, check what they're doing. I think they're getting the wingbacks f flying forward here. Almo. Shot comes in. Good save. Straight away, I'm looking at their fullback. I'm looking at their formation, make sure that they're doing what I think they're doing. No, but I'm going to make sure that we're tracking their wingers, uh, the, tracking their um, fullbacks at least, because I feel like, no, you're not marking, you're not marking him. Um, I want you to mark the wing at the fullback. Um, I feel like they're getting forward. I mean, we might change this during the game, of course. It's saying to mark them, but I don't want them to mark them because I do feel like uh, the fullbacks can do that. Can do that. That you know, I want the fullbacks to be marked, retract, so we stop that width. If they are getting forward early on, they look like they were. Corner kick for Alba. Curls it in. Abraham gets it gets it cleared from him. Busquets. That can't be the highlight, surely. Alba down the left. In the box to Fatty. Fatty, Alba, Abamyang, Fatty, Abamyang. You see what I mean? It's moments like that. We're just not consistently finding the finishes. Throw in. Dest, De Jong, Dest. Sergio Busquets, Karim, De Jong, Gavi, Busquets, Dest. Try and beat a man with a bit of pace, Dest. Run past him. There you go. He's trying it. We well, tried it a bit. De Jong, Karim. Bamiyan, Gavit, they're just not finding a clear shot on goal here. They can't find that clear that clear fit, that clear opportunity, and that's half time. But you see again, Bamiyan scores that. Karim goes to the right and keeps his right arm and the keeper's left, and it could be 2 0. So it is working, just the finishing is a bit naff again. Um, but um, I'm going to say, not piece of performance at half time. Just go out there and just take our chances better. That's all we've got to do is be better at converting our chances. We get them. They just they just snatch at them. They all do it to, to some more than others. Um, but just b take a breather in front of the net and pick the right option out. Kareem was the worst one for that. Should have gone to the other side of the keeper. We just 
I think I've got a sneaky feeling we might pay for a missed chances that we've had in the game. I hope I'm wrong, but I've got a sneaky feeling I'm going to be right. Two sitting opportunity sitters missed them both, and now you just know FM's going to punish us for this. You can't back off him. You got to go out to him. Uh, see once again, not chucking runners in behind, and they don't deserve that. Once again, what is it about this game this year that they just do not track runners? Um, every single time we can see the goal, it's because of this. This is not a good goal. All you've got to do is track that run. John's got to see the danger there quicker. And then once again, once they get in here, again, lazy defense. I know he's supposed to mark, I know he's marking in, but you can see the dangers there. And once again, don't see the danger, not alert enough, and they get the goal. Wouldn't no Leipzig. They don't deserve it. We should be two up in this game, but we don't take our chances. We're going to end up costing us, isn't it? They get two goals, it's, it's, dead, it's dead robbery. They, they, don't deserve, they don't deserve to win this game, Leipzig. They really don't. They've not offered nothing. Um, they've had one chance and they've scored it. They've not done enough, to, in my opinion, to win the game. We should have scored. We, we've been a better team. Just we're not good tackle deaths. Well done. Um, they just got one bit of luck from our, our bad defending. And this is really poor. Again, marking. Why can't I get close to one of these throw-ins? Um, but I think we, if we play like we, if we play like we did most of this game and just take our two opportunities, we'll score them. But it's so frustrating when the animation shows them going near post when there's a gaping gap at the keeper's left or keep on the, on the right-hand side to the striker's left. There's just got to be a priority to change that. The animations, what they show for the shot as get full-time, win the defeat to Leipzig. They've got to change that next year. I cannot stand another year of strikers through on goal on their left left foot, strongest foot, going the near post and the le the far post is clear for the shot. It needs to be addressed. It either it's either really poor finish or just show that animation. They're going to the right option. So we should have won the yep. Yeah, should have won the chance. Risen chance created. We should have won that. We should we should have won that. But we didn't. So we move on. But we got robbed. I'm sorry, but we got robbed by Leipzig. They did not they did not deserve that game. We won. We deserve win that match. I'm sorry, we did. Um. We did. We did. We did. They did they, I can't even give them any credit for the result because they just didn't offer anything for the ninety percent of the match. So um, we're going to come back, like we said, for Elche and Leipzig next because they are, you know, Leipzig. I, I can't do a cup final on its own uh, with Leipzig as well. I've got to do it on it. I've got to do it separately. So we're going to do Elche and Leipzig next. We're still. Um, two points behind Barcelona, uh, Real Madrid in the leagues. So that's not too bad. But we've got to try and turn it around at home in Champions League. If you haven't enjoyed this episode, I hope you have. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. Don't forget to check out the FIFA channel and the Let's Play channel. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.